ein Typ kann mal verschwinden. Aber drei? Jemand will meinen Tod. Kyle Coxman stirbt angeblich an einer Drogenüberdosis. Sein Vater Nels, ein Schneepflugfahrer, der in seiner Kleinstadt in den Rocky Mountains gerade zum Bürger des Jahres gewählt wurde, stellt daraufhin Nachforschungen an. Er findet schnell heraus, dass Kyle als Kurier für den Drogenboss Viking gearbeitet hat. Nach und nach nimmt sich Nels dessen Leute vor. Und einer nach dem anderen muss dran glauben. Das bekommt natürlich irgendwann auch die Polizei mit. So was passiert in Kio nicht. Ist es gerade? Du bist weit genug gegangen. Das ist jetzt meine Welt. Das denke ich nicht. Auge um Auge. Zahn um Zahn. Ich dachte, du wärst ein Kidnapper. Nicht immer. Hard Powder ist das US-Remake des norwegischen Thrillers Einer nach dem anderen von 2014. Liam Neesons Rolle spielt im Originalfilm Stellan Skarsgård. Inszeniert hat beide Filme hans Peter Moland. In Berlin haben wir den Regisseur zum Interview getroffen. When you uh, make a remake, um, how difficult is it on the one hand um, to keep the spirit of the original movie and on the other hand to create something new and different? It, uh, for me it's not a remake because it's a new project and it uh, takes on its life of its own and it's new actors and uh, new people all around and new location. So the process is a whole new process and then you have uh, you know, the day-to-day -day issues to resolve. Uh, so even to me, it felt fresh, you know. And could you maybe uh, realize in this film uh, things you couldn't realize in the original movie? Because it's in a new cultural context, um, that offered some new opportunities. The, um, I think the Native Americans and, and White Bull's character allows for a greater depth because it's uh, the concept of being the others, but uh, being actually on their own land, you know. Um, so I, that was a new and gratifying dimension to the, to the new film. And the hotel uh, where they come to the, the resort uh, was something that I had never felt we quite uh, had the resources to solve properly in the original. So I think this is uh, better, for instance. And, uh, and what do you like most about the character Nels Coxman? Well, you know, he's just been voted citizen of the year. And um, it doesn't take long before he goes to, ends up killing somebody. I like this, that the men in this film behave vastly different than what their self-image is about. His, his civility, obviously, is only skin deep when it comes down to it. Uh, he's uh, understandably both in pain and sorrow, but he also has a rage that is very uncivilized. And I like the fact that... Uh, The characters are, um, uh, or his character is um, somebody who is an amateur, who is somebody who really is in over his head, who has no clue what he's doing. Um, you can empathize with, or at least feel the, you know, the, the fuel of the rage of uh, wanting to lash out at somebody who's hurt you. But it's really a big mistake. I mean, everybody around him just, you know, his wife leaves, his brother dies. Uh, revenge is really not a very good idea. And do you think that um, everyone can come to a point in his life where he do things um, that are untypical for this person? Yes, of course. I think, um, you know, deeply embedded in us as human beings, we have some very strong and very primitive instincts. You know, we are... Um, have an incessant desire to survive, so we do almost anything to survive, you know. And, uh, you know, th those uh, instincts are masked by layers and layers and years and years and generations of, of uh, civilization and, and uh, cultural uh, stimulation to behave otherwise. But, uh, but at the core we also have, you know, we're also animals, you know. And the movie has a great sense of humor. Um, uh, was it all scripted or uh, were there some scenes um, that uh, were improvised? Most of it is scripted. Um, the script is a skeleton to work from and if things don't work or you come up with a better idea, then you use it. You know. So there are some, some lines in the, in the film that are uh, something that we came up with then and there. 
And um, what were the biggest challenges during shooting the movie? Because there's uh, many scenes in, in snow and, and cold weather, and uh, maybe you can say uh, something about this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a challenge to shoot uh, outside when it's harsh conditions. Uh, Uh, and shooting at uh, you know more than 2,000 meters is uh, can be a challenge also um, with very shifty weather and uh, a lot of safety issues because of uh, you know when it gets dark you know you want to make sure you have everybody there. But actually, the biggest challenge for me was that we were running out of uh, winter that it was starting to warm up because the snow gets slushy and and. Uh, uh, be cold in at night and then it would start to heat up during the day you know because uh, although we were in the Rockies uh, the winter is shorter than we're used to at home in Norway. Ich habe einen guten Weg gewählt und bin auf ihm geblieben.